Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, whenever it resonates, right? So let's just see what comes up. This is, uh, the date is January 4th, but it could be January 5th, could be January 6th, could be whenever. The timing is fluid, so keep that in mind. This reading may or may not be for you. What do we want? What do we got for today? What do we have for today? Somebody's acting irresponsible. Being inflexible. Obsessed. Obsessed with their body. They could be obsessed with their ex. There's some food issues. There's jealousy. Somebody's not being practical. They're not being realistic. The sun could be dealing with a Leo. This is somebody who is very much focused on their appearance. Um, now, this is a card of happiness, enlightenment, bliss. This is uh, being right in your glory. This is a big, you know, this, the sun is bright. So this is, this is a, this is happy, big, bright, up, extremely happy. Shining very, very brightly. This is glowing. This is somebody that is going to be glowing. They're, this is a period of happiness. It's going to be a happy time. Time of transformation, though, because a butterfly is a symbol of transformation. And change. It's time. It's time for happiness. It's time to show the world your beauty. This is beautiful. One more card. The world. Ooh. Oh. Happy ending. This is a happy ending. I mean, that's what that is definitely a happy ending. Happy ending. Okay. So something may be ending on a happy note. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That really would be. Um, this is this is a. I mean, this world card in particular. This is. Everybody working together. All these people are working together to build a better world. Coming together in peace, right? This is different cultures, uh, different ethnic back, back, backgrounds coming together to bring world peace or to bring peace to a situation. Um... This is building one another up as well. This this world world is a major new beginning. So this is the beginning of a new era. This is the beginning of a awakened world. Okay, because this is kind of like an awakening. So people are going to be going through some sort of awakening. This is a new beginning. The last chapter is done. The last phase is done. We have a major new beginning here that is going to uh, wait. This is enlightenment. This is good. This, we have a major awakening that is about to happen. People are going to start becoming more spiritually awake. This is spiritual enlightenment. Seeing the light. So yeah, we do definitely have an awakening that is coming. This is a new phase. This is your new era. This is this is the the unhappy life, the unhappy uh, decade that we have just been through. That's over. It's over. This is happiness, right? King of Cups reversed. 
This could be somebody that doesn't have good intentions. The King of Cups reverse is an individual that is cold and withdrawn and really doesn't care. This person is closed off and secretive. Okay. This person may see themselves as a victim. These fell out. Ooh. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, this person is very loyal, very solid, very devoted, very caring, very nurturing, very down to earth. This is a hard worker. Somebody that is motherly and loyal. So we have a feminine and a masculine. And this doesn't have to be a masculine. This could be a feminine. This person isn't very tender, isn't very loving. This person is completely opposite here. This person is very fluid. This person is not. Okay. Oh, we're going to have a permanent loss here with the tower reverse. This is the tower reverse permanent loss. Painful changes. You never saw it coming. Extremes. There could be some extreme health problems. Okay. There could be. So. Now, this is the birth. This is a rebirth. The sun is also a rebirth. You know, if you think about what I just was thinking, each new day is a new day. Okay? You know, it's like that um, from dusk and dusk, dusk until dawn. Right? Endings lead to new beginnings. So we do have, a, we definitely have a new beginning here and something is going to be permanently lost here. Okay, this is a permanent loss. There could be a fight with the tower reverse. There definitely could be. Somebody is, and it's going to be a very emotional, this is very emotional, but this person is stable. Very grounded and well put together. This person can't master their emotions. They may not speak. They may not communicate at all. They're facing some sort of disruption in their life. Maybe they're realizing that this is permanently lost. Dead. Death of an idea or a person. The Four of Swords. That's what this is. This is rest, withdrawal, feeling dead inside, or the death of an idea or a person. So I hate to scare people, but it is what it is. Somebody could be seeing the light. The sun is also seeing the light. So, this is an ending, a major ending. So, um, this person stops communicating, they withdraw, and this is withdraw. So, somebody may be withdrawing from something that is false. It was built on a false foundation, it's a false sense of security. They may be their health, there's poor health here, their health may be declining, um, they're not stable anymore. Uh, <laughs> They need to they need to heal or they need to recover and maybe they, they, they can't recover because I don't know, let's get some more cards. There's illness here. Is there and this card didn't come up. There is some sort of illness. Yeah, somebody is really unstable. Really, really unstable. Um and it's like they, they have no grace. There's no they can't take care of themselves anymore. Um They may be staying in this, or they may have stayed in this false sense of security, this false sense of, you know, this false foundation because they can't take care of themselves. Maybe they don't have the financial means or they just don't have the, they can't, you know, master their emotions enough. They may have some addictions. They don't want to be alone. You know, I feel like we have somebody here that has been staying in a false sense of security for all the wrong reasons, but this is coming to an end. Okay, this is a dead end. In many decks, the Four of Swords is this person that's laying on the coffin or in the coffin or whatever. So it, this is the death of a person or an idea that is no longer, you know, this whole situation is no longer emotionally fulfilling. There's a lot of, uh, there's communication barriers. There's no growth. There's a lack of abundance. Um, it's not stable in any way, shape, or form. Somebody is losing their, their stability, okay? They're losing their ability to um, probably even function. Something is about to be revealed. We could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. 
or a Scorpio. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So we have water and air here so far. And we have swords, so we do have some, some air. Did I say water and air? Water and earth. Anyhow, there is about to, something is about to be shown by the light. Okay, this light is going to shine something on the shadow and the shadow is going away. Okay, so somebody, whatever, somebody has been hiding something or they have been able to not show something, but the light is going to be shown. Somebody has been able to hide some sort of deception. But there are hidden forces that are going to show something and it is going to cause a permanent loss. Two of Wands reversed. This is, there's been a level of indecision. There's been fear of change. There's been a lack of planning. Fear of the unknown. There's been a delay. But we're going to have a sudden arrival or a sudden departure. It's going to be one or the other. Okay. A sudden arrival or sudden, and this is sudden as well, sudden arrival or sudden departure. Something is going to happen. Something that you definitely didn't see coming. You definitely did not see it coming. And we talked about this yesterday. So I hope that you are prepared. Somebody is saying goodbye. Yep. They are. They're in an emotionally disappointing situation and they're leaving it behind in search for, you know, extreme happiness. You know, I want happiness. That's what they're in search of. So I feel as though we have somebody here that has made a sudden decision to depart. They can't pretend that they're happy anymore. No apology is going to be acceptable. They can't stay put. This can't be afford, uh, avoided anymore. Somebody has been in a situation where there is no growth and it has stolen their self-esteem and their self-worth and, and they've, they've come to the point where they have to shut down their emotions and they have to walk away. They have to leave. It's time to go. Wow, this is definitely a sudden departure. It abs this is a definitely a sudden departure, okay? This is I mean, I can't make this up for any reason whatsoever. It's like this person doesn't want responsibility anymore. I don't even want to do this anymore. I just want to be happy. It's all about my happiness. Somebody is, and it's funny where I just put it, I didn't even think, headed towards happiness. In order for me to find my happiness, I have to shut down my feelings for this situation and go. This, there's, whoever they're dealing with isn't stable anyway. They're not solid. They, they don't work hard. They're lazy. Uh, they don't put in effort. And, and if they can't, they're going to have to learn to take care of themselves. I feel like we have somebody here that um, has been out of control with the Knight of Wands reverse. They've been out of control. They've been out of sorts. They may have been acting recklessly. They may have made some uh, stupid decisions. Um, we have a troublemaker. We have a troublemaker that may have uh, tried to uh, force their, their will on another person. And now, you know, this person, it's like somebody has, has woken up. It's like they get this wake up call. This is, this is, I don't want to be involved in this anymore. I don't want to be involved in this false lie, this false deceptive situation. I'm leaving. Now the queen of pentacles, she's in the upright. She's, she's got a golden opportunity in her hand. 
she may have some sort of information because this is something that was hidden. She may have something that she can use. I'm pretty sure she does. Anyhow, um, she may have something that, you know, and she may decide to whoo, show it to the world. And that changes everything. So, I think that we have somebody here that uh, is about to give up. I mean, this I feel like we have some... I don't want to... I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. <clears throat> well, this is somebody's chip getting knocked right off their shoulder. So, somebody's chip may get knocked right off their shoulder. Lesson learned. Let's all work together. Yeah, I think we probably should. So, um, let's all work together. Hmm. The moon reverse, that's a reveal, something being revealed. Something, it's like, and, and it looks like this person probably has the information. Maybe this person has been undecided as to whether they want to reveal that information, probably because it's pretty damaging. With the tower card, it's very damaging. So this person has probably been sitting on the information, waiting to see if they should, but, you know. Hmm. All is not as it seems. Somebody hasn't revealed everything yet. There's been a delay of some sort. Somebody acted recklessly. They may have tried to enforce something that was none of their business. Huh. Well, Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is abundance. Happiness, home, going home, coming home. Somebody may be, may be changing homes or coming home. Because this is saying goodbye and going home. Somebody may be deciding to go home. There, there's definitely going to be an extreme change with the tower reversed. That's, ex, that's, in, that's a massive life change. And it does happen suddenly with the Tower and the Knight of Wands and the Two of This is sudden. So yeah, so there's going to be a sudden life change that changes somebody's home. This is about home. And I feel like when this person gets home, they're going to be right in their glory. They're going to be right where they need to be. This is a card of healing, happiness, glory. It's like, and this is transformation. They're, you know, I hate to say this, but a butterfly, you know, is like a, you know, it seems like there could be a death, okay? And I don't need, I, I, you know, a lot of people don't want me to say that, but that's what I feel like, okay? Um, something is about to be revealed that has been hidden it's like the light is going to be shown on a situation and it caused and, it, and a death can be many different things it could be the death of the old you a death of your old ways the death of the past it could be the death of a person but it's time to be happy again we have a we have a new beginning endings lead to new beginnings so somebody has successfully completed a phase in their life. And it's time to embark on a new journey. The journey to happiness. But the only way to get there is to accept the permanent loss. And stop trying to force Somebody has been trying to force. 
and trying to force brings war. So I feel like we have somebody here that is walking away from a dead end situation and headed towards happiness. I think it is a sudden departure. It happens <laughs> before you can even think about it. It happens so fast. This person is in the up this person is getting something. Because she has the golden opportunity in her hand. This is something solid, something stable. This is a gift. Or she has some sort of information that helps her. It helps her to re keep this situation, to keep it. It's been hidden for a while. Whatever this person has, it's been hidden. She's been waiting. She's very, uh, she doesn't jump to conclusions. She doesn't speak without thinking. She plans. She plans her next move. She is a planner, the queen of pentacles. She will hold on to the information and she tries to protect and she will try to protect other people involved until the information is needed. But if this person is pushed over the edge, you can expect her to expose what has been hidden. And it can, this is the end of a family legacy. It could change something in the family dynamics in a drastic way. It could cause an uproar. So I feel like we have somebody here that is saying goodbye to a destructive situation before it explodes. I ain't got nothing left to prove. I just want to be happy. This is letting go of ego and pride and moving on. So yeah, we have a happy ending because somebody decides to leave. That's what I got. Good luck.